These days, uh, we are seeing a shift in the defensive way of thinking. The world finally came to an agreement as to uh, what tool to use to formulate their defenses. And this is a framework called the mitre attack matrix. In a nutshell, the mitre attack matrix allows us to uh, explain all the latest attacks as well as the older attacks using the same uh, dictionary between the detection team, between the response team, between the hunt team, there is a common language. Let's say if you're a finance organization, you know APT7 is your threat actor. Maybe you can find a couple more, APT7, the FIN7, whatever those are. Put them together, pick their top five, achieve a top 30, which is the d common denominator between those attack uh, threat actors. From these 30, perhaps you're already covering 10 of them because you have a really good firewall that detects the botnets and another antivirus that detects the PowerShell attacks. Your SIM is your last line of defense. Anything that is not covered perfectly, now you can apply those SIM tools to cover those remaining holes in your defense. ArcSight has a rule-based uh, techniques. You can say, you know what? We had those 30 techniques that we were targeting let's say 22 out of those 30 are being covered by our real-time correlation rules. Maybe you can take the intercept coverage too against these uh, threat vectors. Combined, the, your coverage rate will be higher. And so Arcside will help you uh, gain maturity in your SOC, especially where it matters. A couple of months ago when I saw this uh, list of attacks uh, that were targeting an organization, and uh, this insider threat detection tool from Intercept, the UBA, we detected this uh, laptop where the remote controlled, we assume, uh, an adversary remotely controlling the user to open, let's say, FileZilla. He was trying to, or she was trying to identify which next desktop to focus on, where the crown jewel was. I can go on and on with this example, but all these different techniques have a name in the mitre attack matrix. And this way, you don't have to have your own personal Excel files as to how you cover things. You can just uh, uh, use different colors in this matrix to understand where you are at any given time. By categorizing them to these techniques and tactics and coloring those, almost the map, if you will, then you can almost have a bird's eye view as to your SOC maturity level and your coverage level. And ArcSight helps this by having monthly updates of new coverage that is tagged with the MITRE technique ID so that you can have a higher coverage next time you visit our website. This way you can download the latest version of this map, if you will, and compare to your current map to find newer uh, holes in your defense and see how much of that we fix for you. Let's draw a line in the sand and let's say this is my coverage okay this is the second level of coverage if you put them on top of each other this is my new way of coverage that's why uh, that common methodology with the ArcSight tools ESM for the real-time correlation logger for search and uh, UBA uh, which is covered by our intercept solution they work together in harmony to give you that intelligent SOC to enable a self-defending enterprise. MITRE is going to be used a lot more in the coming years and how we find solutions covering MITRE, making better use of MITRE, is the way to enable a next-gen SIM.